In this tutorial, we'll look at how to use the sensitivity controls in Smart Object Tracking, and how to fine-tune a mask to fix missing frames, or adjust the mask to make it even more accurate. This clip of a boy dribbling a football is a good example. I want to create a mask that just follows the football, so let's mask the ball. We'll set up the clip mask in the same way as before, create a shape, and then make sure we've got the brush tool selected with Smart Edge turned on, and then draw the mask. Great. And then with the sensitivity set to high, I'll track the mask. We can see in this case that the resulting mask hasn't tracked that well. There's a bunch of gaps within the yellow bar where the tracking failed. But we can also see in the frames that were successfully tracked, the track on the ball is pretty tight. We could fix these missing frames by using the Modify or Replace buttons, but let's instead try running the tracking again, this time using sensitivity set to low. Once you've changed the sensitivity tracking, you'll need to track the mask again. Looking at the result, we can see the yellow bar is much more complete, so more frames have been tracked. But if we look at what has actually been masked, the algorithm has widened its definition of which object or objects we are attempting to mask, and has masked the boy as well as the football, and occasionally also grabs other objects in view, such as some of the seats in the background, or the cones in the foreground. So it can be a bit of trial and error to see which sensitivity setting you need for your particular clip that will give you the best starting point for what you want to mask. Let's rerun the tracking with sensitivity set to medium. In this case, this is the best of both worlds. The tracking has a few missing frames, but the mask is actually tracking the ball and not additional objects. I can then easily fix these few missing frames. If I just put the playhead on the offending frame, and then using either Modify or Replace to redraw the mask for the frames that the tracking wasn't able to calculate. And once I click Done, you'll see that the yellow bar is filled in for the frame in question. So if you find object tracking on a particular clip is too sporadic and missing lots of frames, try rerunning the tracking at a lower sensitivity. And if the tracking is including more objects than you want it to, try running it at a higher sensitivity. Similarly, if you still find frames that have been tracked incorrectly, it's easy enough to fix them. For example, this frame has tracked the boy as well as the football. I can just modify the frame, and I can use the eraser tool to remove the incorrectly tracked parts of the mask. I can also use the brush tool, with or without Smart Edge turned on, to refine a mask if I want to get a mask to be perfect. Once I'm done, again, just click the checkbox. I'll just go ahead and fix this other missing frame quickly. So let's do something creative with this ball following mask. How about making the mat black and white? We'll give it a super wide feather. And the result looks pretty great. Or we could try a radial blur effect. I'll switch this from spin to zoom and open up the feathering all the way. And then how about I try only running this blur on the green channel, which creates this great glitchy looking effect. For more creative applications and compositing tips with tracked masks, please see our other smart object tracking tutorials. Happy editing. Thank mm -hmm. you.